Today was my grandmother's funeral. Since moving here, even though I feel it's, was, I still feel it was a good decision and it's what I need to do, and I knew it was going to be tough, you know, it's been lonely. I don't know anyone. Ellie is not the most open, affectionate town. It's very isolating. And I was already feeling alone. And then a week after moving here, my grandmother died. She was a big part of my childhood. A big part. She visited a lot, helping out me and my dad. <laughs> Taking us out to lunch or something under the guise of visiting, but really just wanting to treat us to a good meal. Helping out however she could, whenever she could. She was one of the kindest people I've ever encountered in my entire life, and it's not just because she's my grandma and I have this, you know, colored view of her. Everyone thought so. She was just the nicest person. And her dying this, at, at this time, although I can't really call it a shock. She was 95 and had been having health problems for a couple years now. It happening while I'm here and feeling alone anyway just knocked me on my ass. And I've been walking around the week since, for the week since it happened, just only ever kind of thinking about anything else. But now I'm, but being down here now, I'm close enough to, I was able to go to the funeral where she's being buried next to my grandfather, her husband, and my dad, who died 13 years ago. Yeah. And it was, so it was one of the first funeral I really went to. We had a memorial service for my dad, but he was cremated. It was the first real funeral I went to. And I was able to really cry and let things out. And I was able to see my dad's resting place for the first time. Get a lot of that out. But I also got to meet a lot of my family. I hadn't either hadn't met or hadn't seen in a long time. And that was surprisingly good for me. I went from feeling very isolated to just feeling very connected to a lot of people and to this area. My mom grew up in Anaheim. My dad grew up in Whittier. His and most of his family still lives in that general area. So Cal is where I'm from genetically. And I feel more than ever that now it's now that it's where I need to be. I also got to see some old pictures of my dad and realized just how much I look like him, and that was an amazing realization. How much of his son I actually am, not just in personality, but in physicality. And part of everything I'm doing, I'm kind of doing for him too. And this has been a hard day, but a good one, and I'm glad it happened. Good night.